Welcome, my friend. Our practice today is shot at Ho'okipa Outlook on the beautiful island of Maui. I have a quick flow for you today and we'll keep it low to the ground. This practice is great for those days when we just don't feel like doing anything. And we all have those days, but we also know some movement might just be exactly what we need. And of this mindset, a little bit goes a long way. Hop into something comfy and let's get started. Join me in a cross-leg seated position. Your palms rest on your knees. Take a deep breath in through your nose, finding length in your spine. And exhale, close your eyes and let your shoulders relax away from your ears. Let's begin our practice by drawing big circles with your torso, like you're stirring a big pot of honey. Breathe in as you circle forward, reaching your chest, your heart shines. And breathe out as you circle back, rounding in your spine. And let's switch directions of your circles. Allow yourself to really get into the movement, inviting in a stretch along your neck as you circle. Maybe even exaggerating it. As you breathe, welcome fluid, natural movement, warming up your spine. Let's come back to center. Your left palm kisses the mat and your right arm reaches up and over, coming into our seated side body stretch. And then let's take it over to the right. Both sits bones remain connected to the earth. Let's take it once more to the left, reach those fingertips over and then over to your right. Beautiful. Back to center. Take a deep, refreshing breath in, reaching your fingertips to the sky. And exhale, take your seated twist to the left. Left fingertips behind. Your right comes to the opposite knee. The twist action begins at your navel. Breathe in, take it back to center, and then exhale, twist to your right. Lengthening your spine from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Long, vibrant line. Deep, energizing breath in. Come to center. Exhale any stuck, stagnant energy, taking it over to the left. Deep, refreshing breath in to center. And exhale, let go, twisting to the right. This time, when we come to center, let's extend your left leg long in front of you and your right solo foot to your inner thigh. Go ahead and square up your hip points here over the extended leg and with a long spine begin to walk yourself forward your left foot flexed toes reach back towards your body your heel gently pressing into the ground let your chest guide you forward over your extended leg now we're going to take a little yoga dance here next so we're going to come into baby wild thing and then sweep forward into our extended leg so go ahead and rise up, place your right palm to the mat behind you, and sweep your left arm across your body as you begin to press your hips up. Your weight shifts to your shin, fingertips reach back, press your hips forward, front toes point. And then we'll sweep extended arm back down, lowering your sits bones to the mat, and your right arm sweeps forward, reaching to the extended leg. We'll take this yoga dance two more times. Go ahead and go at your own pace, have fun with it. Invite in ease with each breath. Beautiful, my friend. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So extend your right leg long in front of you, your left solo foot to your inner thigh. Square up your hip points over the extended leg and with a long spine, go ahead and walk yourself forward. Your foot flexed, toes reach back towards your body, the heel gently pressing into the ground. Your chest reaches forward. And let's take that yoga dance again, baby wild thing, and then sweep forward over your extended leg. 
Rise up, place your left palm behind you, sweep your right arm across your body as you begin to press your hips up, your weight shifts to your shin, fingertips reach back, press your hips forward, that front toe points, and then take it two more times. All right, let's bring both legs extended long, your feet flexed, and sit up tall, breathe and reach your fingertips up to the sky, and then as you exhale, act as if there's a big beach ball in your lap, and reach up and over it towards your toes. You can hold along your thigh, your calf, your ankle, or your toes, wherever you can reach. No judgment, you're right where you should be. Let your chest reach you forward, lengthen along your spine. Feel into this amazing stretch for your body. Release your hold and rise up. Bring your soles of feet to the mat and take your hands behind your thighs. Breathe in, sit up tall, relax your shoulders away from your ears, and then we'll slowly exhale as you round in your spine, feeling an amazing stretch along your upper back body. Breathe in, lift your gaze, reach your heart forward. And exhale, round, drawing your navel to spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lift and rise forward. Exhale, ripple your spine as you round. Breathe in, reach your heart forward one last time. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding in your spine and your upper back. And breathe in, reach forward. Beautiful. Now let's take both hands behind you and keep a nice long spine as you lift your legs so your shins are parallel with the mat for boat pose. Let's fire up our core and extend both legs long. Exhale, hug knees in over to the right as your chest reaches to the opposite side. Inhale, legs extend to center. Exhale, hug knees into the left side. Your chest reaches to the opposite side. And take this four or five more times at your own pace. Good posture always trumps our speed, so don't sacrifice. Keep that nice long spine, your abs hugging up and in, and navel draws to spine. Keep a soft smile across your face as you flow, inviting in positive, radiant energy. And you got this. Last one. And soles of feet release to the mat. Take a big, beautiful, refreshing breath in as you sweep your arms forward, rounding in your spine, fingertips reach forward, and slowly begin to lower yourself to the mat. Knees hug into your chest. Take a gentle rock side to side, feeling that massage along your lower back. Nice, all right, so let's extend your right leg long and keep that left knee hugged in. Let's go ahead and open your ankles by taking a few ankle circles in both directions. And you can gently massage along your hip joint by taking your knee side to side. Breathe in through your nose and exhale, extend your leg, sole of foot to the sky. Grasp along the back of your leg with both hands, whether to your thighs, your shins, or maybe around your big toes. Your upper body remains grounded and supported by the earth as you gently guide your leg towards your body. We're gonna move into half, half happy baby next. So we'll begin to bend into your knee. Take your hands and grasp the outside of your left foot, the pinky toe side. Your foot flexed, sole of foot comes to the sky. Draw your shoulders to the ground, gently pulling down on your foot. Let's slowly release and extend leg long and then lower it to the mat. Let's take that to the other side. So hug in your right knee into chest, massage your hip joint, taking it side to side, and your ankle circles in both directions. Take any feel good movements. Breathe in through your nose. And exhale, extending your leg, sole of foot comes to the sky. Grasp along the back of your leg. You may notice that one leg is tighter than the other. That's totally cool. 
Feel the length of your spine connected to the earth, extended foot flexed. Moving into half happy baby, so bend into your knee. Take your hand to the, grasp the outside of your right foot, foot flex, sole of foot comes to the sky, knees draw wide toward the armpit, lengthen your low back to the ground. Slowly release and extend your leg long and then lower it to the mat. Extend arms along your body, palms face down and gently pressing down into the ground. We'll engage our core strength and lift both legs to the sky. And lengthen your back along the mat, toes point, and we'll begin to scissor your legs. So breathe in at the top and exhale, lower one leg, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower the opposite leg. Go ahead and take this at your own pace. You may go slower or faster than I. Find your own rhythm that doesn't compromise your form. Breathe with the movement. Use the breath to empower you. Awesome work. Legs meet at the top. And then we'll slowly lower to the mat for five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, my friend. Let's take our bridge pose next. So bring your soles of feet to the mat, about hip width apart, your arms along your body, palms face down. Energize your thighs together as you begin to lift your hips. Ripple one vertebrae at a time, starting at your tailbone. And slowly lower one vertebrae at a time in the opposite direction. Let's slowly and intentionally ripple your spine, connect with your body as you do this, and lift your hips, press up, and slowly, intentionally lower yourself to the mat. One more time, thighs squeeze together as you ripple up, lift your hips, this time at the top, shimmy your shoulders towards one another as you clasp your hands under your low back. The heels of your palm kiss. Lift your hips as high as possible while lengthening your tailbone forward. Imagine you're squeezing a block between your upper inner thighs. Press your hips towards the sky. And then let's release your clasped hands back along your body and mindfully lower yourself to the mat. Bring knees and big toes to kiss. And go ahead and relax your knees open, coming into a recline butterfly pose. And then let's settle in. Rest your right hand to your heart and your left to your belly. I invite you to take this moment to connect. Connect with your breath, feeling the rise and fall of your body with your palms. As you take a deep cleansing breath in through your nose. And a long, slow exhale out your nose. Feel your body soften. Connect with your heart. Feel the rhythm of your heartbeat, your life force. This is your center of deep bonds with other beings, your sense of caring and compassion, your feelings of self-love, generosity, kindness, and respect. Connect with your belly. Your body provides you with cues in your belly of hunger and satiety. We have the ability to respect, listen, and honor our body's cues, nourishing it to feel our best. And then let's extend everything long for our final posture, Shavasana. Deep breath in, and exhale, let go. Let go of any thoughts, any tight muscles. Surrender your body and your mind. Breathe in. And exhale, let go. You can stay here, or if you're ready, go ahead and begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And then let's make our way to the right side, your bicep cradling your head. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And a long, slow exhale out your nose. With your eyes closed and your attention remaining inward, go ahead and make your way to a comfortable seated position. Your hands relax wherever's comfortable. Your shoulders relax away from your ears. Long spine. 
And let's just take a moment here. Big, beautiful breath in, circling your arms to the sky, gathering love and light. And then bring it down to your heart. Raise prayer to your forehead, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our thoughts, thoughts of ourselves and of others. Hands lower to your mouth, setting an intention to stay present and mindful as we nourish our body. Hands lower to your heart, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our actions, acting in love and kindness. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope to see you again soon. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed, like this video and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Love and light.